1249 on this Tuesday afternoon and we are warming up again. Temperatures likely back in the low to mid 80s everywhere this afternoon. We're already above 80 basically everywhere on the map. Only might stay in the upper 70s right at the island, but already above 80 degrees. So a high near 83 in Brownsville, 87. They expected high today in Rio Grande City and 82 in Raymondville. And temperatures will be cool maybe three or four or five degrees or so tomorrow. Not a lot, but there is a weak cold front trying to come in tomorrow. It's kind of falling apart, but what's left of it may kind of just graze the valley here. But temperatures overnight tonight should be dipping into the 60s. Dry weather tonight. Clouds may thicken later tonight, though, and then tomorrow's a day when it may cloud over a bit more. I don't think we'll see as much sun, but temperatures still probably right around 79 or 80 or so, maybe a couple degrees cooler compared to today. But with the clouds thickening tomorrow, you might be able to kind of squeeze out a couple of sprinkles or one or two very light rain showers in spots when this weak cold front tries to roll in. But uh, essentially, there's not much rain going to be falling from the sky tomorrow. Now, here we are on Future Track across Texas. You see that front off to the west. That front doesn't have much weather with it in terms of clouds or rain right now. And as it moves into the area tomorrow, see it's already kind of falling apart. So by midday tomorrow, as the front starts to roll in, maybe just enough of a kick with the front in the atmosphere and that extra moisture it's building up ahead of it to maybe generate more clouds and a couple of sprinkles or a light rain shower. But that front kind of falls apart. The winds may switch more toward the north, though. Not a strong gusty wind, but you notice the light breeze from the southeast today, probably more north or northeast or so later tomorrow for a while in the evening and tomorrow night. But not much cooler air behind that front and not much cooler air with the next front either. You see his next front coming down uh, doesn't tap into a lot of cold air. So as it tries to get here on Friday, doesn't have much going on with it either. It kind of just weakens, but may uh, cloud up skies a bit when it passes Thursday night. Future track now tries to uh, show a sprinkle or two overnight Thursday and the Friday. I think this might be a little overdone, but what looks like it could also happen is when the front comes through, the upper level winds eventually by the weekend may come out of the southwest and kind of push some moisture back in. So it's possible we may cloud up, I think, maybe more Friday evening, night and Saturday. That might eventually be enough to squeeze out a, a shower or two, maybe on Saturday or early Sunday. But I mean, we're talking about, again, very minor rain chances and very light of rainfall amounts. The next front you see up there on the edge of the map, too, trying to get here next week. So the weekend. Generally in the upper 70s, lower 80s, maybe one or two little showers or sprinkles around the area at times, but probably not much in terms of any actual rainfall amounts. I mean, less than a quarter or a tenth of an inch. Now, a uh, longer range forecast, though, this is kind of interesting. If you're looking for cool air, the weather pattern looks like it may shift late next week. So we may actually pull down some colder temperatures, uh, maybe beginning about seven or eight days from now. I mean, we're talking, you know, not tomorrow, Wednesday, but maybe next Wednesday or Thursday, seven or eight days from now, again, where it could start to cool off more than just a little bit, maybe some chilly winter weather. But keep that in the back of your mind for late next week and late next weekend. But the next seven days fairly warm. Highs close to 80 or you know, so give or take a little bit most days. Not much rain in this forecast, but small chances for a light rain shower sprinkle. Kind of centered around Wednesday and then maybe the weekend later Saturday and Sunday, but very little in terms of anything actually falling from the sky. We will continue to track those rain chances though throughout the afternoon. Your first four and five forecast. Leslie.